hello friends uh, this video is about the checkpoint RAT platform introduction and uh, today we will see what are the new features and what are the requirements for the checkpoint as you know checkpoint is basically an Israel based company which uh, creates uh, the hardware platform plus a lot of IT security products now so we'll see what is new in checkpoint R80 and how does it work so what is checkpoint R80 10 R80 10 is new version of operating system which is one of uh, the most secure gateway or management platform it has two components right so it's the base OS and it has two components security gateways which are actually you can call them blades or they can be hardware based they can be software based and then you have security manager and uh, in that different versions are available again you can have a choice of hardware base or software base you can have it on VM you can have it on Windows platform or VMware security gateways are basically the unified threat management software of checkpoint and it comes in various flavors like you can have it based on the hardware or the software also depending on the requirement you can also have different models of products available so we are going to see what are the products available which uh, are different models are available let's say for data center there is a high throughput required so they have different products for uh, different other vendors uh, different other functions they have different products uh, security gateway contains various security elements like firewall IPS VPN etc which you can call them different blades as well okay uh, the next thing we have here is uh, just an uh, idea about what kind of different platforms we have so here you can see that there is a branch office and a Small enterprise or mid-size and there they, we have the models 3000 series or 5000 series in that 5100 5200 and then you have mid-size enterprises similarly you have more products for data center and other uses now the second component after the blade is you have secure management server which is also known as SMS server and R80 uses smart console software for managing gateways although uh, it still uses smart dashboard software for some of the old components now you don't need to install two softwares you have to just install smart console and that has smart dashboard built into it so you don't have to worry about installing it and for the legacy component you will be able to use smart dashboard software here now security management software supports high availability through a primary or secondary server installation so you do have high availability feature available and uh, in the security management software itself okay what are the requirements for installing the gateways and the security management software so this is the minimum requirement now depending on the load that you have you can basically uh, you know in install uh, based on that but this is the minimum basic requirement that you have for installing r8010 platform uh, so this is the hard drive space the memory the number of cpus which are required and the kind of processors similarly for smart console or sms server for management server you need to have minimum this much of stuff available Okay, what are the different models and which are the models which support R8010 at this time? These are the new models and these are the gateway platform which will support the R8010. So 2200, 3000, 4000 series, 5000, 12000. Couple of old legacy models do not support R8010. For smart console, if you are installing SMS server, this is the minimum requirement you have. And these are the operating system Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, and uh, uh, Windows 2016, etc. Now, these are basically this is how the firewall looks from the front uh, when it comes to the hardware based model. But different models have different look, and a couple of models are these days, a couple of models are modular as well. So, in that, the look will change. It's almost like a router that you see uh, if you have worked with the Cisco router or any other router and that is like uh, you have you know console port you have a management port you have uh, you know different ports here available these are the data ports that you have the management port the console port right and uh, then you have ISO installation to USB ports available here down for if you are installing your ISO image which is basically the operating system uh, what is Gaia in that 
case you know we generally talk about checkpoint as gaia so gaia is basically the operating system of checkpoint it has two component right uh, the first component itself is called gaia which is basically where you have everything secure it's more of a linux kind of operating system on the top of the gaia you basically can install either blades or you can install sms server so but both of these have to be basically first installed on the Gaia operating system which is a copy of smart Linux okay what is the what are the different features available in a gateway these are the features available so you can have a firewall or identity awareness IPsec VPN uh, clustering mobile access intrusion prevention systems application control content awareness URL filtering and these are a couple of more features that you have now these are various components available in this some of them will be installed as blade and some of them will be basically installed as feature itself like uh, when we talk about th threat prevention uh, all these features of antivirus anti-spam anti-bot and etc are covered in the threat prevention blade itself which also has IPS so single blade can have multiple features as well uh, so this was basically the introduction of the checkpoint Gaia operating system once we do the installation I will also show you uh, different uh, features available during installation also when we do the lab one by one you will be able to see these features in detail.